No, it is Thursday and we have finally made it. It is time for another episode of Rooted and today's segment. Well, it's dedicated to the fellas. Here's the deal. You guys know I'm very transparent and after my series with the ladies and their hair stories, I had quite a few people reach out to me asking me, well, hey, what about the men like <laughs> you? Right? I hear you, Mark. What about the men, right? <laughs> Like this comment from Wanda Holmes on Facebook asking, will your Rooted series include African-American men and their hairstyles? I even got this comment from Eric Toomer writing, Rooted is good if you're a black woman, but it excludes us black men. Now, now hold on, Eric. You got to give us a time. We just needed time to get to this point. Men can also face inequities in the workplace as well. And for that reason, we are continuing our conversation on black hair discrimination. It's a topic that has been at the forefront of one dark police officer's life story for the last couple of years after he was told his hairstyle was unprofessional. You guys know my character, you know my heart. I felt that they shouldn't judge me based upon my appearance. His dream was to protect and serve a dream eventually put on hold. To say that a black police officer with cornrows is unprofessional. What does that say about you and the way you view black people that wear cornrows? The conversation is needed, but it's it's hard to have those conversations because to have those conversations, we have to admit that we have a problem. That problem for officer Dakari Davis started six years after he joined the law enforcement community while he was working as a dark police officer in 2019. I was upset, confused, Davis says he never thought his appearance, specifically the way he wears his hair in this braided hairstyle, would interfere with his ability to do his job. There was a particular lieutenant who disagreed with that, and uh, he felt that it was unprofessional for male police officers to wear cornrows. And so he took it upon himself to uh, contact the chief of police and eventually filed a formal complaint uh, against my hairstyle. Dart won't comment directly on this personnel matter, but documents obtained by WFAA show Davis was ordered not to wear the hairstyle while in full uniform. Months later, Davis wore the hairstyle again during an award ceremony. His actions sparked an internal affairs investigation in November. The findings of that report referred to his braided or cornrows hairstyle as quote unprofessional and unapproved. I actually decided to cut my hair. Um, out of fear of retaliation. And I said, you know what, I have a son, I have a family, I have to provide for them. And I said, you know what, I'm just gonna cut my hair. The complaint against Davis lists five allegations, including insubordination for disobeying a direct order from a supervisor and violation of the police department's dress code policy, all of which ultimately led to Davis being placed on paid administrative leave, a recommendation for termination and a letter of reprimand. I actually had a lot of a lot of support. Uh, my wife, my family, my friends, uh, a couple co-workers. Why are you having an issue with his hair? Davis and eventually reached out to Dallas David County Commissioner John uh, Wiley Price, who I interceded on his behalf. Has he been performing? And the only issue you see is as he's transitioning with his hair. That's unacceptable. And so. They, they told, basically told me, said to cool my jets, and, and uh, uh, they'd handle it. And they did. Seven months later, the letter of reprimand was rescinded in September of 2020 with this notice from DART COO Carol Wise. Davis was returned back to his full assignment as a motorcycle officer without restrictions. Now DART is taking another look at some of the same policies that led to this entire ordeal. We are currently under a complete review of our appearance policy. And as you can imagine, you know, as, th as times change, people have different desires, different looks. They, they, uh, we understand that as, as you, you want to be able to, of course, work your job, but also you want to be able to have a little bit of yourself to be able to present yourself in a particular way. Even as those changes are being discussed, Davis says it's important to recognize the underlying bias regarding hair in the workplace. If you know me and I wear this uniform and I stand right beside you, and do this job every day just like you, and you view me in that manner. What does that say about how you view someone that doesn't wear the uniform? 